Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is Lisa. Lisa? Lisa. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you. I guess I should start explaining uh, who I am, and then you'll know why I'm here. Okay. And then um, I can ask my question. I am a fairly new yoga teacher, uh -huh. so I'm new on the journey, mm -hmm. and I, uh, our guru, we are fortunate enough, is still with us, mm -hmm. and we go pretty much seasonally up to Canada to see her, and we have services. Mm -hmm. And it was at one of those services I first heard your music. Huh. And at the end of um, the evening, they played By Your Grace. Uh -huh. And I just melted. <laughs> Not just to stroke you. <laughs> um, and I, I you know, found who did it and said, who was that, who was that, what was that? Mm -hmm. And um, it started a journey for me. I just started wanting more of that kind of music, listening to you more and more, listening mm -hmm. to, you know, other people. I started going to um, kirtans and drum circles and singing bowls. Mm. And what I have found um, is that sound just really is my thing. You know, it, it affects me very profoundly, and, I, and I'm sure it affects everyone to some degree. Mm -hmm. But, um, for example, I found a teacher, um, Jeff Bigdow, he does prana yoga, and he incorporates sounds for the chakras mm -hmm. with yoga. And literally, I left there just transformed. Mm -hmm. And I said, this is it. This mm -hmm. is my path. I want to uh, delve into this more. I want to incorporate this into my work, and if I teach, you know, learn more about how to teach it. Mm -hmm. And what I want to know is, um, obviously, you have a wonderful voice. It's warm. It's inviting. It's full. Everyone loves to listen to you. But there's something else going on. There's there's uh, something about the music in the kirtans and and you know and I'm very I'm a novice so uh, so mm -hmm. who better <laughs> mm -hmm. to tell me um, what's going on you know is it physical is it spiritual is it both um, and how do I get more of that and and do it the right way so that if if it does become part of me and I'm teaching it to others um, I understand what the history is what the practice is what the meaning is Big question. <laughs> well, it's not exactly like that. That's the problem. You said, what you hear in my voice is my guru. Okay. And you, you're feeling his love and what he's transmitting through me. So it's not something I'm doing. It's not something I learned how to do. It's not something I got from the outside. It's not something I'm giving to others. I'm simply transmitting what he wants to transmit, which is his love and his presence. Mm -hmm. And that's what you feel. Okay. So... Um, it's not, uh, it's the love, not the sensations. It's not the... It's the energy. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's nothing you can put your finger on and say, I want, I want to get more of that. It's not that kind of thing, hmm. you know, but it is something you can immerse yourself in without with me or without, without my voice around. You, you can feel that love well, inside if it, of Well, if it's a mantra. Uh, no, you know, it's not it's, any one mantra. It's, it's just him transmitting love. Ah, okay. It's not the I thing. can kind of relate to that because at some point um, in my teacher training, I I had an experience where I would I was very nervous as a teacher. I would get mm -hmm. a little bit of stage fright, and I would keep my lesson plan with me. And then one day I didn't have my lesson plan with me, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I had to just wing it. And I and I. Hard on please just let the right words come out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time that the yoga went through me mm. instead of me trying to teach yoga. Sure. So is that mm -hmm. similar to what? Could be, yeah. It's okay. similar. Because you're saying it's your, it's your guru's love coming through you through your music. Yeah. It, ah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what it is, which is why it's not something that 
You, you can buy or, or sell or give or even teach. It's just something you share. Okay. So uh, if you want to learn about more, my guru, there's a couple of books you could read. Okay. Which are nice. You get a feeling for who he is and how he how he went through his life and what he who did. Who is your guru? Ninkoro Lipama. Okay. Is his name. And the books are called uh, Miracle of Love. There's one book, Ramdas. Ramdas uh, put a bunch of stories together about him. So you can start there, Miracle of Love. Okay. Yeah. I'm on the path. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> good one. <laughs> good. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too. Take good care.
Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Wonderful to meet you. Thank you, first of all, because it was Ram Das and you and the Maha Mantra that Maharaja used you as the hook. Uh -huh. I first read um, Still Here, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, and then here. I heard the mm -hmm. Maha Mantra uh -huh. on the Woodstock radio channel. Uh -huh. And I'm an academic, so, or I was, I just recently quit. Um, and I said, started doing the research, mm -hmm. the Hanuman Chalice, and I told Nina that I then played it 24 hours a day. The Rosendale wow. Street Festival was going on. I just everybody in that and everybody that came in that day to cool off. Oh, far out. They got the Hanuman Chalice, and I was like, "Isn't this the best thing you ever heard?" <laughs> <laughs> so, very good. I'm here today because hmm. how do we know? Um, I guess is Baba talking to me, or is this his way? I've left New Paltz, went to California, went to fed homeless there, worked at a college there, worked with the homeless and the poor, carried backpacks with me, fed the homeless across the nation, stayed in North Carolina, worked at UNCG, the University of North Carolina, worked 10 months straight without a day off at a homeless shelter for over 100 people. Mm. With Baba was with me all the time. It wasn't me, it was him, mm -hmm. because I would close my eyes when we would be you know, doing the Bible Belt down there, and we would be doing the prayer mm -hmm. before eating, and I would always see him, and I would try to make the homeless folks feel a little better, mm -hmm. you know, like, hello, sir, your table is here. And that. So now, once again, he's brought me back to New York, the full circle. I've quit all jobs because and I don't, I'm not upset about it. I feel like it's okay. He's gonna bring something to me. No, am I out of my mind? Yeah. <laughs> all right, <laughs> yeah. Next. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> Is what, I, I have a spiritual practice, been doing it for five years, the Hanuman Chalisa and prayers and that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think about Baba mm -hmm. every moment of every day, just about. Um, is he really, is this, it's not a, he doesn't talk to me, he doesn't, it's like, hey, burn, mm -hmm. <laughs> come here. But I feel this longing in my heart. Is that, is that what we're talking about? Is that what this is all about, that longing in your heart? What do you think? I think, yes, I think it would, no matter what you say to me, I'd be like, ah, you're a liar, it is too, I know what it is. <laughs> there you go. You know? Yeah, you know. Because, I, You're the only one that, that it matters to, to yeah. you know. It's you, you know, and uh, you, you you have to follow your heart and get the messages you get for you. That's it. Nobody nobody needs to evaluate it or uh, judge it or put a stamp on it. It's all for you. It's it's hard. Like, all right, you think you're all settled. Wait, I have 18 years. I'm the registrar at a mm -hmm. nice college. Mm -hmm. Make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, you know what? Yeah, no, I quit. All that's gone. And I go out to California, make even all, more money. Nope, I give out all my worldly possession. It had to be Baba because I got asked to guest lecture at the largest Buddhist temple in North America. Mm -hmm. Baba did that, I didn't mm -hmm. do that. What, what are the chances of like, hey Bernadette, you wanna come here and guest lecture? Mm -hmm. So, and then I felt, well, no, I've gotta give up everything. I've gotta give, I, have, I don't want any attachments. I don't want, I just want total freedom. Mm -hmm. Go to North Carolina. I had quit my job. Then I tell the chancellor, he, I had an interview, and I said, well, Bob said I always tell the truth, so I have to tell him that I quit my job. Mm -hmm. that I, I tell him, and I told he goes, what are you going to do? I said, well, I'm leaving it up to the universe or God. And he said, I think that's hokey. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, uh-oh, not getting hired here. Mm -hmm. But he did, he hired me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa, and then, all right, everything's cool, and then all of a sudden I'm like, ah, oh, no, I, I have to go back to New York. And then the only time I, I've never, Bob has never come to me, I have dreams, I wish I hear people have dreams, only once. Mm -hmm. Everything looked like I was gonna get the job in New York mm -hmm. back that I left. Mm -hmm. And all I had was one dream of Bob standing there, and he said, no. And a, and a truck came by or a car and splashed me with water. And I was like, whoa, I'm not getting the job. Mm -hmm. That's the only time I ever saw. Mm. And I'm like, all right, I'd like to believe I'm the same person, but this leads, this has been leading my whole life. My, I, I gave up all my possessions again. Mm -hmm. Anything that I accumulated, I gave up once again. Mm -hmm. I'm not even upset over it. 
I'm in New York staying in my sister's house in this crappy little room. <laughs> Love my sister. Really happy that she's letting me stay there. Mm -hmm. I believe it's a beautiful mm -hmm. time. But I'm like, is there something wrong with me that I'm not even getting upset? I believe that it's going to come to me. Mm -hmm. I believe Bob has got it all under control. And it feels like this is maybe I'm just trusting or surrendering. Or have I lost it? Come on, make me feel better, Sam. You've well, lost it I, you know, we certainly haven't lost your judgmental mind, but you wouldn't be thinking about this at all. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know if it's necessary to try to understand it. You should do what you feel will make you happy, because that's what will make him happy. Do you know what? I almost think he's inter. I think this, and I like to call it a God kiss, mm -hmm. because I had been like, Bob, is this right? You know, I'm not even upset. And then all of a sudden I get like, oh yeah, come down for the chai kiss. So I'm like, oh, that's a little baba kiss there. He's telling me it's okay. <laughs> Actually, really, to me, mm -hmm. that's how I felt. I, I, right now, I feel like getting to talk to you. Five years ago, I didn't know your name. I didn't know who you were. Now I can chant the Hanuman Chalisa and the Barajaban. Well, John Bond. Yeah, all right, I can't yeah. say it straight. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, but I can chant. Very good. Across the entire United States, as I drove, mm -hmm. I missed flash floods. Mm -hmm. I missed cra crazy things were happening. I missed every single thing just by like this. It's great. Yeah, wonderful. It's like. Are you happy? Enjoying life? I'm absolutely happy. There you go. So I'm out of my mind. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's it. This is it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt to give up stuff. I slept on a floor in North Carolina. I was like, oh, no, it's okay. Bob is going to provide. He did. Mm -hmm. Someone gave me a bed. <laughs> so I was like, what? Because I was like, no, it's okay. I'm sleeping on the floor. It's no big deal. Everybody does lives the way they, they choose to live and find a way to, to, to be in his presence. And That's the main thing. Yeah. I also think he makes it easier for you, because right now, mm -hmm. it, if this were four years ago, or f uh, six years ago, I would have been very upset, like, what am I gonna do, no job, mm -hmm. material possessions, I need all this, I'm, mm -hmm. you know, I need this um, status. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even bother me. Good. I'm okay, it's cool, no, sorry, don't got a job, no, <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> mm. Everything's different anymore. I actually do see the connection with everybody, mm -hmm. that we're all one. Mm -hmm. It's really easy for me to see now. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for someone to tell me they're crazy. Well, you did when I first sat down. But it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And you're just, mm-hmm. <laughs> what you know what can I say? Yeah. You, you've got your thing going on. It's working for you. It's mm -hmm. good. Trust it. Trust where it takes you. Maybe you'll get a job and get more stuff. It doesn't matter. So there's nothing wrong with having it, it, stuff. It doesn't matter what the... I, I, think, I think that he just wants me to help people in some way. I helped people in mm -hmm. the college. I helped yeah. them get along. And now it's a different place. Mm -hmm. That's all. But I think that he is uh, so kind and benevolent to take that angst away, too. Because yeah. I don't have that... It's Thanks. Yeah. Because for every once in a while, in the last few days, I've woken up and, <gasps> and I'm like, oh, wait, no, Bob's got it all under control. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have a job. I don't have to run. And look, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And when I tell people, no, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I'm going to know what the direction in life mm -hmm. has to be. I don't know if people <laughs> understand yeah, Well, how could they understand? <laughs> I, I don't, well, I was down in the Bible belt and... I couldn't really tell everybody. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> yeah, I, couldn't, I couldn't actually tell everybody. Yeah. Hi, my guru has been dead yeah, for. There's no reason to hurt another person's heart or yes. upset another person. No. They don't have to see things the way we do. No. There's many ways as long to as the top of the sense mountain. to you. As long as you're happy in your life that's, and doing what you feel you need to do, what, what else is there? There's no outside way of looking at it, nothing's necessary. Was your mind, I'm asking you more than one, I'm sorry, but was your mind blown when this, when, I don't know Baba in the physical presence, and I'm okay with that, I don't want to, I've never desired to because he lives inside my heart, but were you just blown out of your mind 
this being knows everything about you. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like, well, yeah. It's comforting though too because for two and a half years I've had no friends because you're moving around. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you love people, mm -hmm. you make friends, you know, but, but Bob, I know it sounds weird, Bob has been my friend this whole time. That's great. It was even crazier as I rode across the car. Bob was sitting in the seat next to me the whole ride through to the, I'm a sane person, but I'm like, no, I know, I know he's there. Hanuman's right there flying in front of the car, making mm -hmm. sure everything's getting out of the way. Oh, that song, yeah, that song, I want to know what love is. Mm -hmm. When I fed the hungry people in mm -hmm. California, it first started off. Yeah, I didn't intentionally play it mm -hmm. at the first time, so that mm -hmm. everything is connected. That started playing, and then after that, I started playing it. Every time after I left, leave a homeless shelter, mm -hmm. I start playing. I want to know, because I sat there, or I was standing there in California, in L.A., and I said, I know where the love is. It's right here. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> this is where the love is. And it was there again in North Carolina with all the homeless folks. All right, well. Very good. <laughs> Great. I mean, you know, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Take good too. care. Thank you so much. Right. You're beautiful. Thank you. Foolish heart, why do you weep? You throw yourself away again. Now you cry yourself to sleep, cry yourself to sleep. My foolish heart When will you learn You are the eyes Of the world And then no else To turn No Jigovind, a Jigovind, a Jigovind, my foolish heart.
Oh. Uh-huh. 